You don't want none? You don't want none because next week, AJ Styles returns to SmackDown. Now, if you've been on Twitter recently, you have seen the discourse, the upset feelings of all these wrestling fans wondering, where is AJ Styles? Where is the man who is supposed to be head of the OC? When you have Gallows and Anderson on NXT, you have me and him mentioned on SmackDown, and AJ Styles has been missing. And it seems recently everyone's talking about his contract. Oh, how long is his contract for? Is he coming back? Is he not coming back? Oh, is he going to go to AEW? You know, personally for me, I've been waiting for AJ Styles to return to get involved with the NXT TNA battle because I'm really interested in seeing AJ Styles have one more match. But in TNA, I would love to see that. Have his old music. You are, you are, I am my own. Unfortunately, we can't have him wrestle, say, Christopher Daniels or Samoa Joe because they are both signed to AEW. So we're never going to get that moment. But AJ Styles in the WWE returning next week on SmackDown. Now, this is the SmackDown the night before bad blood now currently bad blood is pretty stacked for matches and so it's very weird to think that we're gonna have aj styles return the night before this event now i I wonder what they're trying to do i wonder if they're trying to maybe slip in aj styles because right now currently we have five matches you have Liv morgan versus ray ripley with dominic mysterio in a shark cage Damian Priest versus Finn Balor. Hell in the Cell, CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre. Nia Jax defending the championship against Bayley. And Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus The Bloodline. Five matches. Will we get more? And if we do get more, will it involve AJ Styles possibly challenging someone next week on SmackDown? Or, recently, they've been trying to stack these events they've been trying to give the raws and smackdowns before a ple a little more oomph as in this monday we're gonna get a last man standing match or i'm sorry i gotta do the tagline right the last monster standing bronze and reed versus braun Strowman. but then they also have on smackdown next week a triple threat ladder match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. It's the Bloodline versus DIY versus the Street Profits. Those two matches I just mentioned for Raw and SmackDown, huge main event matches for each individual show. But with AJ Styles returning next week, are they starting something? Or is he just going to come out wearing a, a salmon jacket and pretend to retire like he did recently with Cody Rhodes? It's very strange to think because AJ Styles was gone. He returned. Then he had an LA Knight uh, rivalry for a little while, disappeared, came back, said he was going to retire, fought AJ Styles, and then disappeared again. What is next for AJ Styles to do in the WWE? And I think that's the problem for a lot of wrestlers where you haven't changed your character up. You've been a bad guy, and you're a good guy. You haven't done anything extreme to really change up what's going on. He's been around, what, since 2016? That's a long-ass time. And some wrestlers, they do have a shelf life. And I'm not saying AJ Styles is old. I'm not saying AJ Styles doesn't need to be here. I'm saying AJ Styles maybe just needs to disappear for a long-ass time. Not return. Maybe not return to the Royal Rumble. Have a WrestleMania match. Then disappear again. Come back. Maybe in the fall. Skip SummerSlam. Like these are things that how we're gonna keep wrestlers going for as long as they've been going. Because some wrestlers say, like, for example, Damian Priest. Damian Priest is fresh right now because of what he went through. The transitions. He was the archer. He was shooting bow and arrows, creating it. Uh, A weird fire with his name. Not weird. It was awesome, actually. (laughs) Let me back up. It was friggin' awesome. But he was in NXT. Then he came to Raw. He was U.S. champion. Then he had this weird, I'm a demon, but I'm also an angel. Then he became Edge's accomplice. Then he formed the Judgment Day 
his own Judgment Day with Finn Bell and Rhea Ripley and Dom and JD. And that was two years of developing this new persona. Now he's a good guy. He was world champion. Like, there's all these little steps for Damian Priest. AJ Styles, personally for me, came in as a good guy, eventually turned to a bad guy, and he's had incredible matches. But when he returns next week on SmackDown, what's the payoff? Because usually, 98% of the time, a PLE SmackDown, a SmackDown that airs the night before a PLE, isn't very good. It's all about hyping tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow night, I'm going to beat you up. Well, tomorrow night, I'm going to beat you up. That's what it turns into. And I'm okay with that. But if you're a, a customer paying for a ticket, you're going to get a triple threat ladder match next week. That's exciting. AJ Styles returning, very exciting. But what will he do? A lot of people on SmackDown are already wrapped up in stuff. The U.S. Championship, L.A. Knight, Carmelo Hayes, Andrade. World Championship, you have Cody, you have the Bloodline, you have Roman. You have Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, and Cody kind of in a weird storyline as well. Like, there is nobody left right now on SmackDown. That is a high-caliber talent, unless we're going to have somebody else interrupt AJ Styles that is already involved with the storyline, or from a different show. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think AJ Styles could pull off here. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I hope soon enough we'll get AJ Styles doing something in the world title picture. And, and the problem is, how... how how can he keep doing that? How can he keep being in the world title and keep losing? That's the that's what sucks. Like the last time AJ Styles has wrestled in the WWE was in August the 29th, and it was a house show, and it was called The Road to Bash in Berlin. That's what he was doing. So the 29th, he lost to Cody. The 28th of August, he also lost to Cody. The 27th of August, he also lost to Cody. Guess what? 26th, he also lost to Cody. <laughs> we can keep going. 25, he lost to Cody. And then before that, in August, he only wrestled one, two, three, four, five matches. In July, he only wrestled one, two, three, four matches. That's it. That is it. And guess what? He keeps losing to Cody Rhodes. AJ Styles is nonstop losing to Cody Rhodes. The last time he won a match wasn't even in the WWE. It was in NOAA, Destination 2024 pay-per-view. That was July 13th. So that is the last time AJ Styles has won a match, July 13th. And, and currently, as I record this, it's the tail end of September. That's where we're at. And then before that, we had what? Uh, Ju June? June 15th? Cody Rhodes, guess what? He lost. I mean, excuse me, Cody Rhodes defeated AJ Styles, Clash of the Castle. We have a terrible losing streak for AJ Styles in the WWE, at least. The last time AJ Styles won a match in the WWE was against Johnny Gargano at a house show, and that was May 5th. So May 5th, is the last time AJ Styles has won a match. So hopefully when he returns next week, he can win some goddamn matches. Breaking news, AJ Styles is returning next week. Have a good one, folks.